telling you oh my god build confidence in 24 hours they're lying because insecurities do not just disappear if i've been on this planet for 20 years how the heck am i gonna just randomly be confident after 20 years of me negatively talking to myself negatively viewing myself stop idealizing this version of confidence that is actually unattainable building confidence takes time it takes a lot of time and i still have days where my confidence is in the depths of hell like literally under satan's but like in the toilet my confidence can like get that low but i think true confidence is all about being able to have those down days but it's like how do you pull yourself out of those down days the point of this video is to teach you the steps to build the confidence in yourself so the first thing you need to do take your arm and actually pinch yourself T like slap like feel yourself what is this this is a solid substance. You are a human being. You are not a ghost. People see you. You are seen. So you need to stop living and walking through spaces as if you don't exist. Because I'm sorry to tell you, babes, no matter how invisible you try to act, we see you. So there's two people. Person A, person B. Person A walks with their head held high, chest out, they make eye contact, they acknowledge people. Person A is gonna get more opportunities in life versus person B who's walking through life with their back slunged on their phone the entire time, not acknowledging anyone, less opportunities will come to that person. Because how the heck are you gonna get someone to feel confident and trust you with any sort of responsibility or task or anything if you're not even confident in it yourself. For example, a new job opportunity comes. You genuinely feel in your heart that you're unqualified. This other person is going to feel that energy and they're going to move on to the next candidate because why the fuck would they want someone that is questioning their abilities when they could have someone that's 100%? Take up space live your life as if you were living because that's what you are you are not dead yet like you are not dead you are not a ghost you are not this invisible spirit people see you and you are living and you need to take advantage of the fact you are still alive you will get nowhere in life if you walk around trying to be invisible like you just can't so be person a don't be person b Person B will be stuck forever. So next tip for confidence is being delusional with yourself. Take this list here, for example. So this is a daily list right here I came up with over the weekend to follow for that week. And every night I will go through that list and check off everything that I was able to do. And my only goal is to make sure I pass my day. Like each day is a test. Am I gonna fail it or am I gonna pass it? And every day I try to fucking pass it because why would I wanna fail? Why the fuck would I wanna fail in my day? So I take this list, try to accomplish as many things on this list as I can so I can be able to throw myself a little party at night and be like woo i actually did shit with my day because confidence can only come when you are validating yourself you don't need all these other people to acknowledge how amazing you are if you are acknowledging it within yourself every single day consistently you need that consistent recognition and instead of getting it externally you are giving it to yourself and you don't need it externally because your acknowledgement is enough and you make it enough throw a little party give yourself a little treat like okay i passed my day here's my chocolate bar give yourself a little award ceremony like go through the thing and be like and the best daughter goes to me because i texted my mom happy birthday my award you know like validate your fucking self because if you're not gonna do it no one else will and confidence comes with validation with reassurance with all that fucking crap so the next thing you can do for confidence is to literally stop comparing yourself with other people and only compare yourself with yourself now this is probably a tip that you've heard many many times but i cannot stress how insecurities come from the feeling of feeling inadequate. Take a moment, reflect on your past year. If your past year in your life has been the exact same, 
you haven't accomplished anything. Nothing has changed. Feel insecure. Like, I'm disappointed in you. And I'm, I'm not even you. You should be disappointed in yourself if you haven't done shit with your life in the past year. You haven't gotten a job, moved out, traveled, done all this crap that you told yourself that you would do or stuff that you've been wanting to do for years and you haven't done it. Be sad. Like, I don't understand. I can't compre comprehend. I can't comprehend in my brain right now. How the fuck you even allowed that to happen? Literally, look at yourself in the mirror. See this mirror? Look at yourself in the fucking mirror and be like, why the fuck did I do that? Why the fuck did I waste a year of my life? Like, literally look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that. Because you let a year on this planet go by and all this energy all this talent all this amazingness doing nothing not getting acknowledged not doing shit how the fuck did you allow that to happen so be sad for a day two days maximum a week be sad like actually feel disappointed in yourself because we can only grow when there is shame give yourself consequences for the crap that you're doing because how fucking dare you i cannot stress it enough do not dwell do not manifest in this negative feeling but acknowledge it actually feel it because i know you feel it you can't just push it away you feel shame there's no way you don't that will be used as the motivation to actually make a difference so now this year you can say yo i'm not gonna repeat what i did last year i that is just too disgusting of a feeling for me to go through again so this year i'm gonna switch it up and that's how you're comparing yourself with yourself now the thing is if you reflected over this past year and you actually did do stuff like you landed a job even if it's a part-time job babes you got a job congratulate yourself because at the beginning of that year you didn't if you actually made any sort of small moves you don't need to feel insecure you don't need to feel insecure at all maybe they're not moving as fast as you would like maybe they're not at the level of other people's but you looked at yourself and you can see and acknowledge that your life is better than it was a year ago and understand that you are growing and this journey will take a bit longer who gives a fuck about what anyone else is doing like congratulations on them so amazing that they did this but at the end of the day it's not your life so why do you care what they're doing in their life you should only focus on you because i don't understand how the heck people can get so involved in someone else's life so yeah, that is everything. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with any friend that you see might be stuck in a rut. Come back to this video whenever you are feeling insecure so you can get yourself out of it. I hope I helped you guys and acknowledge all the things you're doing proper and then all the things that maybe you can work on. And yeah, you're you. You are amazing. You are qualified to do everything. You should take up space, acknowledge your existence, make other people acknowledge your existence because at the end of the day, you want those big wins for yourself and the only way to do it is with confidence, baby. Okay? I love you guys. Mwah.